Hey everyone, it's Scar Perjury Pre Online. Uh, thanks for coming back and watching the channel and you're know, humouring me, guys. Uh, today I have a massive tub behind me. This is the breeding box that I like to put my pokies in. So this is uh, Hostotheria striata. They're still in there. There's a male. The male has actually been eaten a while ago, uh, but she's still in there. I thought the best thing to do as I'm going to get her out, I thought, why not have a good look at uh, the, the the species striata? So. Everyone knows, obviously, pokies, what they look like, but let's find out how we can distinguish one from the other. I mean, if you look vent uh, eventually dorsally on top of a, of a pokey, a lot of them look similar, but uh, the way to really tell is to look at the, uh, the un underside of the spider, so underside of the legs, and um, we'll show you now how to kind of differentiate between other similar pokies. Nice one. This is the breeding box. You all know I like to make my pokies inside the breeding box. Uh, the male, the reason I'm pulling the female out now is because I noticed that the male is here. He is uh, obviously deceased by that ball of, uh, of fungus there and it's starting to go mouldy. There's a leg over here that's starting to go mouldy and you know it's not a good environment for the female to be in so I can start by removing everything that I want to do. And you can see her legs, she's in the background there. There she is, and she's a big girl. She was much bigger than the uh, the male itself. And uh, we're gonna get her out, I'm gonna do it one-handed. But hopefully she won't scarp her, no, but if I get this out first. Now we can take a good look at an adult female striata. We can have a look at her dorsally. There she is. That's the pokey, the iconic pokey patterning on the dorsal side. Striata um, share the the yellow underside, like uh, regardless do. And a lot of the dorsal patterning, especially on the carapace, is similar to two other pokies. So before I get her out, and what I'll do is I'll, uh, I won't show you guys me getting her out because I need two hands as you can imagine for a, a seven to eight inch pokey. Um, you've got to concentrate, got to give them a bit of respect. Remember they're fast and they do have potent venom. Not medically significant venom, but still it's a bad day, it'll ruin your day if you do get bitten by one of these guys. Okay, so I've got, got my catch cup and I've got my tweezers. That's below there. I'm going to go the other side of her so that I can, I've got a, an enormous catch cup for this one because she is a big, big pokey. And uh, it's important to do this fast, but obviously uh, not to do it half-heartedly, to go straight in, don't hesitate because when she runs, she's quick. Just like you would to a house spider, just go over the top. And then I've got my glass, her, her tank actually. Oh, wrong way round for it. Let's put it on here. And you can either move the tub across or move the glass underneath. And she should move out the way like that. And then you've got a large adult pokey safely secure there. And uh, you can have a good look at the underneath of the ventral side of it, hopefully now. Hopefully that is... Uh, I'll tell you what, here, let me uh, move this camera quickly. There we go, alright, so... You can see the banding on the legs. Alex, and you can see obviously she, ventrally she's a female there, that's what you're looking for. There's a large, large split on uh, here. But the rear legs are usually what we look for. Uh, but all the other, all the, um, sorry, leg one and leg two are also kind of um, helpful as well. 
So you can see the difference, it just looks like a, on the actual body itself, there's a black spider, instantly recognizable between regardless. Regardless would have a, a, ventral, a pale ventral abdominal band. Now, striata do, if you look very closely, do have a pale, pale band, a sort of faint, faint band. Why not that? Uh, there we go. So that's a faint band, but nothing as prominent as regardless. Let's put it back in our home now. So. Um, and then we will move on to the next bit of the uh, of the video, so the identification part. I'll keep the learning part of this uh, video really, really quick. So, um, striata, uh, dorsally there, the carapace patterning, they share that pattern with two other spiders, so it's regalis uh, and formosa. And uh, so those three, um, on the carapace patterning, they look pretty much identical. Now I'll, obviously this is the patterning that I'm showing you for and uh, that is then as I said shared between Formosa and Regalis. Uh, the way to differentiate um, spiders, uh, the tra these spiders sorry, is uh, by the leg patterning and um, Regalis and Stoyata share a lot of their leg patterning together. Um, they also share the yellow, like the flash warning, uh, yellow uh, markings underneath um, the front legs and um, they share a lot of the banding as well but there are uh, a few small differences where um, you'll be able to identify striata between regardless and this I want to do the comparison also I'll show you the leg patterning on both spiders instantly as I said earlier on in the video that you can you can distinguish them between regardless and striata by the lack of a prominent ventral abdominal band so the yellow band that goes across um, the underside of the abdomen and uh, that's the first you know first thing you look for but distinguishing those two the next one then is going to be the leg patterning on uh, leg four now what I want to do is I'm going to uh, read this a little aspect of uh, a little snippet sorry from um, a paper so legs one and two ventrally uh, with bright yellow and black patterning same as um, regalis so, and then the femur uh, is yellow, but with a broader black diagonal band on striata then. So it's got a, a fatter diagonal black band on the femur. Um, and then when you look at, so on screen now what you've got is um, leg one and leg four of striata. So that is um, number 14 and number 15 there. Um, number 15 is the back leg, number 14 is the front leg. Um, so that's a lovely little drawing of the banding there of striata. The next one I'm going to show you is a comparison between the um, leg uh, 1 and 4 of both regalis and striata. So striata is on the left, regalis is on the right. Instantly obviously you can see that on the femur there of uh, leg one, you can see a fatter black band. And then on the femur of leg four, so on the, on the, the back leg, which is the, the, the right side of each pair, is a, very, a lot thinner on regardless, so a lot fatter on striata. So I just wanted to keep it you know, short and sweet. And literally that is what you look for. Um, to distinguish regalis from striata. As always, uh, thanks for joining me again. Uh, you guys are the reason why I do this. Uh, cheers. So remember to like, comment, subscribe, keep coming back and hit the bell button if you want some notifications from me. There's uh, a Patreon page uh, for those who want to become a patron and help me out a little bit more with the channel development. Um, that's it for shows for this year, so it's now too cold to post, um, so, but I will be doing a competition to um, win some either a hat or a hoodie, I haven't decided yet, but that'll be next week. Um, until then guys, stay safe, cheers now.